Oh, are you ready for this? Just look in there. Look at that. That is how I remember my school dinners. Chocolate sponge and pink custard made. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are old school, going back to school yes again. We are making chocolate sponge and a real pink custard. Now, everywhere all over the internet, people use a packet of blancmange, which, you know, the school dinner ladies didn't make that. They made it in a big tub. And we are going to make real pink custard. So this is real old school. Let's show you how to do it. Come on. Okay, the first job for us then, we got some butter in here. We're going to go in there with our sugar and we're going to cream it together. So just cream that butter and sugar together. So just bring that all in there. Let's see if it's all creamed up enough. There's still a bit of sugar in there, so we'll just give it another little whiz. That will do. Just bring that into the bottom of the bowl like that. Okay, so that's our butter mixture there. What we need to be doing is putting our eggs in there. Now, most people put eggs in one at a time and beat it in. I don't. Just put it in. I am going in there with a little pinch of salt. And I'm also going to put a little bit of vanilla in there now. I'm just going to give that a little mix through and then I'll add my milk. I'm going in there with my milk. Give that a mix in. Okay, this is self-raising flour. This is cocoa. In it goes. Give it a stir through. Get that in, incorporated in there as best you can. And then we're going to sieve this actually into that wet mixture. Okay, before I sieve that in there, oven on, we're going to preheat. So we want to be preheating this oven to 170 degrees on. Chucking this all over the table. <laughs> Just going to sieve that into there. Now it doesn't matter if it's not all sieved in. Don't worry about it. A couple of lumps of cocoa ain't going to hurt anyone. There you go, you can see what's going on there. That's cocoa. Well, we're not going to waste it, are we? In it goes. Now, you can just stir it all through, or you can give it a little bit of a mix and then stir through. So, nice slow speed, because this is going to blow everywhere. It looks like we're going to have to fold the rest in. So in we go. Fold it in. Oh, it's like making chocolate brownies. <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, look at that. It smells incredible. That is fully incorporated in there. That will do. Okay, this is a 9x9 nine nine tin. I've lined it. I've got baking parchment in there. 
and we are going to put our mix in there. So just try and smooth it into the corner. Now don't squash it, just lightly move it in. A little tap on there. In the oven. And we want to be setting the time for oops turn the temperature down we want to be setting the time for 20 minutes 20 yeah we'll do we'll do 20 minutes so we're going to actually bake that at 20 minutes after 20 minutes we're going to stick a skewer in now it should take between 20 and 30 minutes to cook in there um, but after 20 minutes we'll check it just to make sure if it's ready in 20 minutes it's coming out there we are, let's have a look. Now what we need to do, we need to test this with a skewer to see if it's okay. Now that is absolutely clear as a bell. So let's get that out of there. Just look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, so when this oven stops whirring, we're gonna crack on and make the pink custard. We're gonna make it properly, not with packets of blancmange. As I said before, if you were making pink custard for a whole school with packets of blancmange, there would be thousands of packets. So we're gonna make it the school dinner lady way. <laughs> that is tremendous. <laughs> Here we go then, pink custard. In here, I've got my milk. I'm going in there with a pinch of salt. In there with two tablespoons of sugar. Also going in there with just a little bit of vanilla. Just don't forget, it is vanilla custard, even though we are making pink custard. Now this is strawberry flavor. A little dobbing of strawberry flavor in there puts that underlying strawberry in there. And we want to go in with a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, I'm not frightened on using the cornstarch. I got heap tablespoons. Give it a mix up. Flame on. And then when this, and the only bone of contention that I would have with this is, I'm going to use a couple of egg yolks. I've lightly beaten them already. And when this starts to warm up, I'm going to actually take some of this out, put it in the egg yolks, temper the egg yolks, and put the egg yolk back in there and cook it in there. It gives it that richness. Now I would be thinking that they wouldn't do that in school. They would just mix it up like this to make a custard. Because if not, they're gonna have an awful lot of egg yolks in there. But I could be completely wrong on that one. Okay, so like I say, I've got a couple of beaten eggs, egg yolks in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of this milk and we're gonna put that in there. I'm just gonna give that a little whisk round like that. And we're gonna add that back to our custard mix. Now this is an old fashioned way of making custard. And as you can see, we've got a light yellow at the moment. So all we're doing, we're just cooking this up till it thickens a little bit. Here comes the pink bit. A little drop of food colour. Now this stuff goes a long way. So just put a little bit in. Give it a stir through. Voila! Pink custard. We need to go just a little bit more, I think. Just quite not pink enough. And then all you do 
is you just stir it till it thickens. And that is coming together already. I can feel that thickening. There you go. Flame off. And that is 100% homemade pink custard, the same that you would have in school. None of that packet blancmange. There you go. All we got to do now is serve, serve it up. Okay, with our sponge cake then. Now, normally in school, they would have got the old, and they would have cut the slices and taken it out. But you know, we can actually take this out of here. There you go. In fact, let's just slide that off there. Okay, let's have a, a slice of this fabulous, fabulous sponge. I'm just going to do it, <laughs> just do it like that. Oh, look in there. Oh, are you ready for this? Just look in there. Look at that. That is how I remember my school dinners. Chocolate sponge and pink custard made. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh, that is light sponge. Oh man. That is how I remember it. Mm. That is delicious. Oh man. That is superb. Well, I've made it. It was so many requests for this, you know. I've made it. I've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Now, don't forget, like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.